A Calabio manifold, also known as a Calabio space, is a special type of manifold that is described in certain branches of mathematics such as algebraic geometry. The Calabio manifold's properties, such as Ricci flatness, also yield applications in theoretical physics, particularly in superstring theory. The extra dimensions of space-time are sometimes conjectured to take the form of a six-dimensional Calabio manifold, which led to the idea of mirror symmetry. Calabio manifolds are complex manifolds that are generalizations of K3 surfaces in any number of complex dimensions. They were originally defined as compact Kala manifolds with a vanishing first churn class and a Ricci flat metric, though many other similar but in equivalent definitions are sometimes used. They were named Calabio spaces by Candelis et al. after E. Calabi who first conjectured that such surfaces might exist, and S. T. Yo who proved the Calabi conjecture. Definitions The motivational definition given by Yo is of a compact Kala manifold with a vanishing first churn class, that is also Ricci flat. Calabi conjectured their existence and Yo proved the conjecture. There are many other definitions of a Calabio manifold used by different authors, some in equivalent. This section summarizes some of the more common definitions and the relations between them. A Calabio n fold or Calabio manifold of dimension n is sometimes defined as a compact n dimensional Kala manifold m satisfying one of the following equivalent conditions. The canonical bundle of M is trivial. M has a holomorphic N form that vanishes nowhere. The structure group of M can be reduced from U to SU. M has a Kala metric with global holonomy contained in SU. These conditions imply that the first integral churn class C1 of M vanishes, but the converse is not true. The simplest examples where this happens are hyperelliptic surfaces, finite quotients of a complex torus of complex dimension 2, which have vanishing first integral churn class but non-trivial canonical bundle. For a compact n-dimensional Kala manifold M the following conditions are equivalent to each other, but are weaker than the conditions above, and are sometimes used as the definition of a Calabio manifold. M has vanishing first real churn class. M has a Kala metric with vanishing Ricci curvature. M has a Kala metric with local holonomy contained in SU. A positive power of the canonical bundle of M is trivial. M has a finite cover that has trivial canonical bundle. M has a finite cover that is a product of a torus and a simply connected manifold with trivial canonical bundle. In particular if a compact Kala manifold is simply connected then the weak definition above is equivalent to the stronger definition. Enrique's surfaces give examples of complex manifolds that have Ricci flat metrics, but their canonical bundles are not trivial so they are Calabio manifolds according to the second but not the first definition above. Their double covers are Calabio manifolds for both definitions. By far the hardest part of proving the equivalences between the various properties above is proving the existence of Ricci flat metrics. This follows from Yo's proof of the Calabi conjecture, which implies that a compact Kala manifold with a vanishing first real churn class has a Kala metric in the same class with vanishing Ricci curvature. Calabi showed such a metric is unique. There are many other inequivalent definitions of Calabio manifolds that are sometimes used, which differ in the following ways. The first churn class may vanish as an integral class or as a real class. Most definitions assert that Calabio manifolds are compact, but some allow them to be non-compact. In the generalization to non-compact manifolds, the difference must vanish asymptotically. Here is the Kala form associated with the Kala metric. Some definitions put restrictions on the fundamental group of a Calabio manifold, such as demanding that it be finite or trivial. Any Calabio manifold has a finite cover that is the product of a torus and a simply connected Calabio manifold. Some definitions require that the holonomy be exactly equal to SU rather than a subgroup of it. 
which implies that the Hodge numbers high, zero vanish for zero less than I less than dim. Abelian surfaces have a rich E-flat metric with holonomy strictly smaller than SU so are not Calabio manifolds according to such definitions. Most definitions assume that a Calabio manifold has a Riemannian metric, but some treat them as complex manifolds without a metric. Most definitions assume the manifold is non-singular, but some allow mild singularities, while the Chern class fails to be well defined for singular Calabios. The canonical bundle and canonical class may still be defined if all the singularities are Gorenstein, and so may be used to extend the definition of a smooth Calabio manifold to a possibly singular Calabio variety. Examples The most important fundamental fact is that in any smooth algebraic variety embedded in a projective space is a Kala manifold. Because there is a natural Fubini study metric on a projective space which one can restrict to the algebraic variety. By definition, if omega is the Kala metric on the algebraic variety X and the canonical bundle Kx is trivial, then X is Calabio. Moreover, there is unique Kala metric omega on X such that omega 0 equals omega H2, a fact which was conjectured by Eugenio Calabi and proved by S. T. Yo. In one complex dimension, the only compact examples are Tori, which form a one-parameter family. The Ricci flat metric on a torus is actually a flat metric, so that the holonomy is the trivial group SU. A one-dimensional Calabio manifold is a complex elliptic curve, and in particular, algebraic. In two complex dimensions, the K3 surfaces furnish the only compact simply connected Calabio manifolds. Non-simply connected examples are given by abelian surfaces. Enrique surfaces and hyperelliptic surfaces have first churn class that vanishes as an element of the real cohomology group, but not as an element of the integral cohomology group. So Yo's theorem about the existence of a Ricci flat metric still applies to them but they are sometimes not considered to be Calabio manifolds. Abelian surfaces are sometimes excluded from the classification of being Calabio as their holonomy is a proper subgroup of SU, instead of being isomorphic to SU. In three complex dimensions, classification of the possible Calabio manifolds is an open problem, although Yo suspects that there is a finite number of families. In turn, it has also been conjectured by Miles Reed that the number of topological types of Calabio three folds is infinite, and that they can all be transformed continuously one into another, much as Riemann surfaces can. One example of a three-dimensional Calabio manifold is a non-singular quintic threefold in CP4, which is the algebraic variety consisting of all of the zeros of a homogeneous quintic polynomial in the homogeneous coordinates of the CP4. Another example is a smooth model of the bath nieto quintic. Some discrete quotients of the quintic bivarious Z5 actions are also Calabio and have received a lot of attention in the literature. One of these is related to the original quintic by mirror symmetry. For every positive integer n, the zero set of a non-singular homogeneous degree n plus 2 polynomial in the homogeneous coordinates of the complex projective space Cp n plus 1 is a compact Calabio n fold. The case n equals 1 describes an elliptic curve, while for n equals 2 1 obtains a K3 surface. All hypercala manifolds are Calabio. Applications in superstring theory Calabio manifolds are important in superstring theory. Essentially, Calabio manifolds are shapes that satisfy the requirement of space for the six unseen spatial dimensions of string theory which may be smaller than our currently observable lengths as they have not yet been detected. A popular alternative known as large extra dimensions, which often occurs in Brown world models, is that the Calabio is large, but we are confined to a small subset on which it intersects AD Browner. In the most conventional superstring models, 10 conjectural dimensions in string theory are supposed to come as four of which we are aware. 
carrying some kind of fibration with fiber dimension 6. Compactification on caliber EON folds are important because they leave some of the original supersymmetry unbroken. More precisely, in the absence of fluxes, compactification on a caliber EO3 fold leaves one quarter of the original supersymmetry unbroken if the holonomy is the full two. More generally, a flux-free compactification on an N-manifold with holonomy SU leaves 21 minus N of the original supersymmetry unbroken. Corresponding to 26 minus N supercharges in a compactification of type 2 supergravity or 25 minus N supercharges in a compactification of type 1. When fluxes are included the supersymmetry condition instead implies that the compactification manifold be a generalized caliber Yo, a notion introduced by Hitchin. These models are known as flux compactifications. F-theory compactifications on various Calabio 4 folds provide physicists with a method to find a large number of classical solution in the so-called string theory landscape. Connected with each hole in the Calabio space is a group of low-energy string vibrational patterns. Since string theory states that our familiar elementary particles correspond to low-energy string vibrations, the presence of multiple holes causes the string patterns to fall into multiple groups or families. Although the following statement has been simplified, it conveys the logic of the argument. If the calabio has three holes, then three families of vibrational patterns and thus three families of particles will be observed experimentally. Logically, since strings vibrate through all the dimensions, the shape of the curled up ones will affect the vibrations and thus the properties of the elementary particles observed. For example, Andrew Strominger and Edward Witten have shown that the masses of particles depend on the manner of the intersection of the various holes in a calabio. In other words, the positions of the holes relative to one another and to the substance of the Calabio space was found by Strominger and Witten to affect the masses of particles in a certain way. This, of course, is true of all particle properties, 